Now I welcome Mr. Cameron for his testimony. Uh, Chairman Gallego, uh, Chairman Grijalva, Ranking Member Gosar, and members of the subcommittee, uh, thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today to discuss the administration's coordination in construction of barriers to address security and the humanitarian crisis at our nation's southern border. My name is Scott Cameron. I am the Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary for Policy Management and Budget at the Department of the Interior. The southern border is a major entry point for criminals, gang members, and uh, illicit narcotics. Along this border, cultural resources, wilderness areas, wildlife refuges, uh, plants and animals are adversely impacted by land degradation and destruction from unauthorized vehicles, trash, fires, contaminated water, and other activities related to unlawful border activity. But apartment manages lands that cover 40% of the southern border. The impacts of illegal activity along the border are evident on all of these lands. At Oregon Pipe National Monument, for example, in the last three years alone, National Park Service rangers have arrested 71 people, apprehended more than 1,200 illegal aliens, and intercepted 7,500 pounds of marijuana. People die trying to cross the border illegally here. Since 2010, the remains have been found of uh, almost 200 individuals suspected to have died attempting to cross the border illegally. Unfortunately, as was mentioned earlier, uh, at least one American, a National Park Service ranger, Chris Egel, has been murdered by criminals crossing the border. Without an effective barrier, there will be more deaths and more movement of drugs that ruin lives at a distance. Through implementation of President Trump's directives, the department has made it a priority to work closely with the Department of Homeland Security, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, and the Department of Defense, among other agencies, to protect the wildlife, natural, and cultural resources that occur on federal lands along the border. Our work with these agencies enhances the safety of those that live, work, and recreate in the region. At Oregon Pipe, CBP has worked collaboratively with over 100 local stakeholders, including federal, state, and local government agencies, and of course, tribes. The National Park Service worked collaboratively with CBP during pre-construction planning processes to identify known archeological sites and has worked to protect them. MPS has also recommended, and CBP has agreed, to having an archeological monitor on site uh, during construction activities with the authority, incidentally, to stop work as necessary to minimize loss of or damaged archeological sites. As an example of this collaboration, NPS, in coordination with CBP, identified Quito Baquito Springs as a significant resource area. In order to protect the hydrology, wildlife, and cultural resources of this area, NPS established an agreement with the U.S. Geological Survey to provide real-time monitoring for Quito Baquito, notably taking into consideration the concerns expressed by the tribes, who requested a five-mile buffer for any wells from Quito Baquito. CBP and the Army Corps of Engineers therefore placed the closest wells for this project eight miles east and seven miles west, with the latter being a pre-existing refurbished well to ensure a protection of the, uh, the water resources at Quito Baquito. In early October, NPS archeologists discovered several bone fragments during an archeological survey close to Quito Baquito Springs, near the southwestern corner of the monument but north of the Roosevelt Reservation area, and so outside of the project area. An osteologist viewed the fragments and determined one was human, and, uh, but many were, were not. Uh, discussions with the Tohono O'odham Nation were initiated on October 24, 2019, regarding this discovery. Uh, in November, NPS crews identified three additional bone fragments during a data recovery project uh, that consisted of the surface collection of artifacts near the same area, this time within the Roosevelt Reservation and within the project area. An osteologist determined that these bone fragments consisted of animal remains in a rock, but uh, during a subsequent site visit to the same area, 
two additional remains were found also within the reservation area. Uh, these remains could not be identified by the field archaeologist, but both were later confirmed as, as human. Along the southern border, the department will continue to support interdepartmental partnerships. We will also continue our engagement with uh, effective tribes. We are trying to work closely with the, uh, with the tribes, and when we find any artifacts or any human remains, we engage in a process to return those to the tribe. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for letting me run over, and I apologize for that.